I'm really feeling this Afro look. I'm really feeling the Diana Ross vibes. Um, like I'm about to sign up for the Black Panther. And I really would if I knew how to truly sign up. <laughs> What's up everybody so today for this video of course have you seen we're gonna do passion twist i feel like i'm getting too I'm too bright right now so for today's video we're gonna just be doing using a couple of things and you will need a couple of things um you don't have to pre-stretch your natural hair but i did because i just know my hair I know it won't look the best when it's in its curly state, so I blow. So I blew it out just a little bit. Okay, not just a little bit. A medium, a medium amount, just so it will be much easier for my hair to take with the passion twist. So what I will be using today is I will be using the shining jam to make sure my hair parts are nice and straight or straighter than what it would be also to keep my edges tamed i'll be doing the rubber band method um just so because i don't personally know how to braid at the top and then um turn it into a twist i mean i know how to do it but i don't know how to do it while adding adding hair and i really want this hairstyle to come out correctly so i will be using the rubber band method because they are great for beginners as i've seen next you will need your any choice of oil um today i will be using the argan oil stimulating growth oil um i just seen it and i was just picked it up from the beauty supply. Nothing too major as to why I chose that one. Next, you will need your foaming mousse. I chose the Lottie Body um, foaming mousse because I've always used it and I haven't tried any other products, well, foaming products. And I just know this one works uh, to help lay the hairs, hairs down after everything is finished. So that's why I chose the Lottie Body. Next, you will need your rat tooth comb. Um, I mean, with preferably with the metal at the end, just to make sure your parts are slickety slick straight. And then lastly, you will need your passion twist hair. Now, I picked up at least seven packs. I'm not sure if I truly needed that, but I have a lot of hair, as you can see. And so I'm not trying to get into the middle of things and then I realize I don't have a lot of hair left. So I got the Free Tress um, Crochet Hair in the color Water Wave. I mean, in the color 1B but the style waterway from free Tress. no particular reason as to why i chose this brand i just see a lot of people use this brand and vouch for the fact that we should use this brand and the style waterway so i'm like okay it's my first time let me make sure i do this right so that's why i picked it up and i do have about seven packs all right, and that's basically all you will need now. Right now, I'm going to um, style me part my hair, and I'm gonna do the back first. So I'm not gonna show you guys the back because the back's not really as important to me as the front. Of course, I'm gonna make sure that it's looking straight, looking neat. But y'all don't have to see that on camera. I don't know why I was thing that for but y'all don't need to see that on camera so i'm gonna do the back off camera and then come back when i'm in the front right here no one told me this process was going to be this dang alone. when i tell you my arms are hurting my neck is hurting my back is hurting because i was standing up and i had to look in my mirrors and I'm not done yet 
but only have one piece left. So let me just show you what I have so far. Um, the whole back is done. <laughs> Hopefully you can see the parts in there. I think what also took me a long time was that I was trying to get the parts extra crispy. I mean, of course, when I do the hairstyle, I'm going to be thankful that I did my hair extra crispy. But when I say that was a pain, that was a pain. But yes, so we are done and we only have, well, almost done. We only have one section left. So I'm basically going to show y'all what I did to my whole head with this one section. Okay, so right here, I'm just taking the shining jam and I'm just placing it all over that part. Because I want to make sure that it is nice, crispy, tamed, like all my edges are tamed and there are no flyaways happening. Next, I'm just using the rat tail comb so I can just smooth out all that product and so it won't be built up. It's smooth and flat and it's doing its job correctly. Next, I am actually oiling the rubber bands that I will be using because I don't want it to be dry. Um, I don't want it to break off, break off my hair. So adding on the oil and swirling it around a little bit will help do its job of not breaking my hair. Okay, so this step right here, I really do not recommend, but some people just like a tighter part. But personally for me, I will never do this step again. And I'll explain later. Okay, so I'm done and these are the final look look how crisp the look these look okay i think i might fix this section right here because on this side it's three and i like the three and on this side it's four and i feel like it's just too small i was just trying to see which side i like better and i'm thinking i'm thinking i like this side better just because it doesn't look forced as this side so I'm gonna fix this and I'll be right back. If I could be completely honest, I'm tired. And I don't think I can give y'all that energy. <laughs> um, so I'm probably gonna do voiceover from now on because I just need to focus, do this, and get it in. Because at this point, from doing this, when I say I want to fight, that's not even a, that's not even half of it. Like I really want to fight, so I think the best thing to do is to just let y'all just hear me as I do because can't do it, won't do it to myself, won't do it to y'all either. But let's get into it. All right, what's up, everybody? So I have done half of my head because I wanted to know what I was doing before telling you guys. Don't mind that face. But so I am placing the shine and jam all over my hair part right here because I want to just slick down all the flyaways or all the hairs that are uneven or anything if I have any just so when I twist it it can be seamless as possible. Now I'm taking this little tool right here. I low-key forgot the name. Don't judge me. Um, and I am just shoving it through my hair underneath the rubber band. So make sure you do that underneath the rubber band. So right now I'm just getting two strings of hair so I can um, put them onto the crochet needle. I remember the name, the crochet needle um, and all together. And when I said in the beginning, do not, pull your hair at the root um, because on this step it really hurts and I'll show you guys so right here I'm just twisting the middle part um, the hair so it can go onto the crochet needle hook so much easier all 
all right so this step right here it was really hard and just think how it was in the back of my head so even this step like it was getting on my nerves but you know we did it we got it we conquered and we pushed through so that was the most painful part ever but it went through but it burned so bad so what we're gonna do is hold one side of the hair and pull the other side through so it won't come straight out of our head and then we'll make sure it's even length and yeah don't pull it again I don't know why I did that to myself okay so right here you're gonna want to take one piece of hair and wrap it around the um, rubber band so you can hide the rubber band piece and then you're gonna split the hair again and just basically do your little twisty thing your twisty method all the way down to the end of the hair and it's literally simple like that it's so easy but it just takes a long time okay so like so like that we're done all right so now I'm gonna show you another one and I was already pissed off because I just knew this step was gonna hurt so bad so what I did is I already twisted it up in the middle and now I'm putting it through well trying to as you can see trying to put it through the hook did that and so now the hard part pulling it through a very very tight rubber band and it was so tight I had to like loose it because it just was not budging and I wanted to cry so bad and I was just on camera so I couldn't but don't make it as tight you guys you really don't need it that tight I just I just wasn't thinking I wasn't thinking Okay, so now the hair is through and I'm holding one piece, one side piece of the hair so it can, the other half can go through the other side of the rubber band. But so now it is fully through and we wrap one hair around the rubber band to hide the rubber band, split it down the middle and we just twist it up. I feel like next time when I do this, I'm going to do shorter twists just because this process was so long so long all right so these are the finished results i hope you guys loved it as much as i did when i say i looked so bomb and they start getting old it was so cute but thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace.